Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate JJ. <coughs> Today's just a quick unboxing. I uh, I announced this in the previous video. Uh, it's my new uh, Fluke um, uh, 17B plus multimeter. Now, honestly, I don't know anything about this. As I mentioned in the previous video, I I saw a guy on YouTube had one and. Uh, just out of curiosity, I, I, I had a look at the at the model name and uh, and I found that I could buy one on eBay, in fact, for uh, 222 Australian dollar reduce. So I got it. And uh, I, I don't know anything about it. I just saw this other guy using it and he seemed to know what he was doing. And it's fluke. So I thought, I'm in. Let's do it. Um, and as I said previously, this is seems to me to be just a good honest multimeter from Fluke so uh, I'm very pleased to own this is my second bit of fl Fluke gear I've got uh, I've got a, 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 a Volt Alert uh, 1AC C22 um, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a voltage detector one of those little pen things that you put up to the power and it goes red to let you know that there's voltage present. So uh, I've got I've got that from Fluke. Uh, I got this from Fluke because I thought it was the sort of thing that you want a quality brand for. You don't want to get your cheapo voltage detector and it doesn't detect the voltage and you die. So uh, yeah, I got Fluke. Uh, I got Fluke because it, it's, it's a well-respected brand for quality. So uh, that's why I uh, I got the Fluke Volt Alert, um, and now I've got the the Fluke uh, 17B Plus. Now I don't know what the difference is between the 17B Plus and the 17B Plus IND. I don't know, and also I'm embarrassed to say that I really don't know um, what Asian script we're looking at there. It, it's it's either Japanese or Chinese, and I'm just not sure. Some of it does look a little bit like katakana, maybe. Um, in which case it's uh, it's Japanese, but the uh, the address on the back is um, uh, China, also um, America, and the Netherlands of all places. So I don't really know uh, how to interpret all of this. Um, I've never used this before. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know anything about it. I just saw a guy on YouTube, who I'll tell you about in the show notes. Um, he seemed to know what he was talking about, so I thought, well, if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me, and I and I got it because it was two hundred and twenty-two bucks, and that was within budget. You know, I was expecting if you wanted to get a a, a fluke meter, it'd be like three and a half thousand dollars to play sort of thing, and you certainly can spend that amount of money money on a fluke meter, but this one was two hundred twenty-two Aussie bucks, which is around about maybe one hundred and fifty uh, uh, US real dollars um i'll figure that out and I'll, I'll put a note in the in the video so uh anyway look uh this is the fluke um uh multimeter that i got the 17b plus let's have a look at it together on the bench here we are on the bench and here it is fluke keeping your world up and running thanks fluke um cat six 600 volts I suppose that is um, 17B plus slash 17B plus IND I don't know what the IND means the rest of it's in some Asian script that I don't know uh, it says genuine warranty so uh, hopefully um, it's all true it's obviously um, branded um, in some Asian script it actually shipped to me from the US of A. So it's come from America, um, but it's branded uh, not in English. <sighs> Looks like it comes with uh, some probes, uh, a thermometer, some sort of strap. T pack. I don't know what the T pack is. And a fluke bag, maybe. I'm not real sure. Uh, the specs are hard to understand because they're not in English, but it's a 600 volt Cat 3 slash 1000 volt Cat 2, 10 amp, 400 milliamp, 
4,000 microamp, 1,000 volts. Ours is either the IND or not. I suspect not. Uh, looks like it's uh, it's rated just a little bit less. So the I IND looks like it can do some higher ratings, higher capacitance, higher um, uh, voltage. Um, yeah, not sure what the one and a five are there. Be interested to know actually. One and five is quite a big difference, isn't it? One and five. Yeah, interesting. Um, but as I said, um, it seemed to me just to be a good, good, honest multimeter. I didn't even take a close look, frankly. I just saw, um, you know, basic options. But it, it I did notice it has uh, capacitance, continuity, diode, resistance, millivolts, voltage, AC voltage, uh, amps, milliamps, microamps, thermometer. There we go. So it can do pretty much everything that I expect the basic multimeter to do. And it's from Fluke. So let's have a look on the on the inside. Oh, is this going to make me think? There we go. Digital multimeters. So far it's in English except for that bit. That's the whole box. There's nothing more in the box. Everything's here. Now what are we going to get when we open this? Still mostly English. Nope. That's not English. So, uh, I'm not sure what language that's in, but I can't read it. There we go. Some signage. I'm sure I'll be able to find an English manual for this on the internet somewhere. So I will do that and I'll put a link for you in the show notes. But it looks like this whole manual is not in English. Fair enough. I can deal with that. Here we go. This looks like an ad telling you about their other gear. That looks like some sort of calibrator, doesn't it? Maybe it's telling you, ah yes, fluke calibration. It's telling you that they provide the service, I guess. <clears throat> or you could buy your own calibrator by the looks of it. Wow. That's cool. Fluke calibration. There you go. What's all this about? USB. Not sure what that's about. Seems to be an ad for some of their um, other products. Doesn't it? It's all lost on me because I'm not really sure what those other products are. Cool. Looks like uh, infrared uh, att att attachment for your smartphone. I've seen those. They're cool. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh, there we go. It says China. So maybe that's what that language is, Chinese. I don't know. If you know, feel free to let me know. I'd be happy to know. Yeah, I don't know. Just don't know. And here we are. So we've got uh, that's our, our K-type thermometer. Cool. And these are our probes. Nice one. And here we are. We've uh, Got a, a plastic covering on, on the thing, so we'll just pull that off. There we go. Ah, that was interesting. Kind of, there was some discoloration on the thing when I pulled that off. I don't know what that was all about. There we go. Voltage AC, voltage DC. 
millivoltage DC, continuity, ohm, and resistance. There we go. Now my mate Joe showed me the other day that you actually have to, once you put it on this setting, you then have to press the thing to get to the subsetting that you want. So this is uh, continuity, this is diode, and this is ohms. So yeah, you don't want to get that wrong. It looks like capacitance is dedicated. Cool. And then we can do amps, we can do milliamps, we can do microamps, and we can do temperature. That's cool. Now, let's see about the uh, the temperature first, huh? Why not? This is as good a place to start as anywhere, although I guess it's at the end, isn't it? So let's take the... Uh, oh no, they, they, don't, they don't have any protectors or anything, that's good. Put that in there. And let's see how much I heat. If I'm not dead, it should go up to about 37. Doesn't seem to want to go up in a real hurry, does it? We don't want to sit there waiting for that to go up to 37. It does seem to be going up there. Oh no, 31 it wants to give me. Fair enough. And here we've got some uh, some good honest looking probes. So uh, shall we measure something? I suppose we should. What are we going to measure? I suppose the first thing we could do is a continuity test. So uh, let's try continuity. Put him on continuity. Select continuity. And we've got, uh, there we go. Now, ah, uh, yep, those pop on and off. Very nice. So, let's see if we can get a resistance on our, uh, on our bit of metal here. Yep. 1.4 four ohms. Not very much resistance at all. Alright. Diode testing. We're going to get a diode? Probably not. Or, I don't know, how about this guy here? This is a diode. This is an LED. I guess the cool thing about testing on the LED is we'll see if it lights up or not. So, uh, I've, I've, I've labelled the, the long leg it's got a resistor on it. I don't know what this will do. Uh, let's put him on uh, diode mode. Take our protectors off. Let's see what happens if we put it on with the... Oh, yep. It works as a diode. It says the vol forward voltage is uh, 1.8 volts, which is surprising because it's going through the LED as well. Let's try and... Uh, Get him right in there with the uh, with the other bit before the uh, before the diode. Oh, that's interesting. It's very close to the same. Wow. Yeah, that uh, that diode's not doing much, is it? 1.807 and 1.778, and you can see the diodes are uh, lighting up from the power applied. So that's cool. Shall we do a capacitor? I suppose we might as well. Here's a Tempoff cap. So uh, let's put him in capacitance mode. Let's see what he says. Can he do it? It's about right. And uh, and these uh, capacitors, they're not exactly uh, super high quality. 
yeah, it says uh, 40, 50 uh, picofarads, which is sort of close to what it's it's labelled. It's it's supposed to be 10, 10 picofarads. I might try something a bit larger. Got some. Uh, what are we gonna do? Sarah, so, how about a one microfarad electrolytic? So the uh, the long leg is positive, and that's measuring in at 1.04 microfarads for for a cap that's rated at one microfarad. So that's a uh, that's a pretty good reading. Happy with that. Of course, I would expect nothing less from this fluke equipment. And uh, it's uh, if it wasn't the right reading, it would be more likely to be a dodgy cap than a dodgy meter, I think. Uh, I won't do voltage and milliamps and stuff because that's all pretty stock. Um, <clears throat> but look, I mean, it's an excellent piece of equipment, isn't it? It feels, feels solid looks great so uh yeah i'm very happy to uh to have, have joined the ranks of of fluke multimeter uh, owners for the mega price of 200 bucks so uh yes very very happy to have this and i'm i'm glad i uh, i stumbled upon it um on youtube recently so uh let's throw you back over to the farewell cam and we'll wrap up so that's that um, this is it, my new, uh, Fluke meter, unboxed, um, we did, we did demo a couple of its features, that was cool, um, as I said already, good, honest multimeter, does all the basic things that you'd expect your meter to do, so, um, I'm, I'm very happy to have it for the money, um, and, uh, <coughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what, what more to tell you, just that uh, I'm happy, looks good, everything seems to work, so um, yeah, that's great. And uh, I have to say, if, if you know what language that was, please do let me know, because I'd like to know. So uh, thanks very much for watching, and please remember to hit like and subscribe.